Right, so we're going to start getting into Zoho CRM, the real main, the biggest app of all of the apps on the Zoho One. However you want to get to it, you know, you might come to Zoho One, go to your applications or wherever you are, wherever you are in your admin. For me, just come to the main area and come to uh, applications. If you've already, if you haven't, we added this on the first video, but if you haven't added Zoho CRM yet, just click the plus button up here and scroll down. I think this, it, I'm not sure what order it's in. I think the CRM would be near the top, but uh, you could just click sales and marketing and that'll filter it down to them 10 or 11. Oh, it's there, look. But that's at the bottom because I've already added it. It might be somewhere else for you. I'm just gonna go to applications and um, Zoho CRM. Shows that I've only got one one person and I'm admin. So if I open admin, uh, open the app or settings, it'll go to the relatively the same place. First time setup, it's taken information from my back end. Said uh, company name, Happy Me Limited, time specific. I am at. There's always a bugger to find the right one. It's hiding in there somewhere. Greenwich. It's got to be that one for me, right? Uh, currency, so it's up to you if you want to put in different currencies and uh, languages, different time. And I'm just going to click update. I'm going to import sample data. I will show you how to get rid of it. It only takes a second to do, so click add sample data. Sample data population has been scheduled. So it just so it's got something for me to show you what to use as you're going around. And then I'll give you a quick overview of the tabs uh, and everything involved across the top in your, this is enterprise level. I think if you click up here, um, uh, yeah, Zoho, Zoho Enterprise Trial. So part of the Zoho one is that you get almost the top tier of Zoho CRM. Sample data has been added. So there's a menu bar where you can create your own tabs. So if you're, um, not in sales, you're in some other department that you don't need all these tabs across the top, then you can change them, you just create a new structure, we'll go for that later. Sales inbox is where you can integrate your Zoho mail or your your email into a place where in one inbox you can see who's opened emails, who's closed emails, who's not closed, who's replied, who hasn't replied. If you get an email from someone, you can click and jump into their contact and you can see other information. That's a separate it's a separate area where we're going to go into sales inbox. It's pretty cool. I use it all the time. Feeds is what's happening in your business. And this is where when you've put new leads, when you've created new potentials, you might just write in, you know, um, it's, a, it's a little bit like a Facebook feed. You can put a status in, setting up. Zoho CRM, stay tuned. You can choose who uses sees it or not. At the moment, we haven't got any other users, but you might find in this, you know, I, I would think you'd be putting working on big quotes at church uh, around the corner or something. Anyone worked there? And you would add that, and then one of your Colleagues would come on, look at their feed, see that, and then put, yeah, I've worked there, no, I haven't, or, you know, it's a place where you can interact a little bit and people can just have a quick glance of what you're up to, your bosses, or the bosses can see what the salesmen have been up to. Leads, we'll go into depth when we go into leads in the, um, in the, in the separate lesson for leads, but leads are, in my opinion, hearsay events, places where you you've heard that something might happen you've heard that uh, a customer may be a possibility of coming on board or you know so i work with security companies a lot so i'll give you a lot of security examples but you know I, i'll try and think as i see other group members coming onto this training i'll try and cater some training towards what i think you use it for but what i would do would be say we work for a security company and we fitted fire alarms and burglar alarms and you hear there's been a fire somewhere. 
you might say there's a fire at the corner shop or the well yeah they say say the shop around the corner's got a, had a fire in the leads you have no connection to this person you have no in the person hasn't contacted you but you consider that a lead that's something i might want to follow up on a bit of downtime if i've not got time to chase my deals i might go through my leads and say you know what have i got in my pipeline on the leads that i might be worth phoning somebody or trying to get an email address or going forward i call it the grapevine section that you know someone's told you something off the cuff that's worth logging down uh, and chasing up later or if you've got a um, a website and you've got some sort of ebook you give away you give something to capture someone's email address that could be a lead that goes into lead the lead area with the email address accounts are the businesses that you work with or have provided quotes for so this is this is a business name, business company name, or if it's an individual, it's the individual's name. So you know you've got Commercial Press and Morlong Associates. This is the top level, the business, and within that business, you're going to be able to see phone numbers, information, open opportunities and tasks. You also later on down the line, you may or may not, but we're gonna we're gonna. Um, put in Zoho books so we're going to be able to see on this top line how much does this company own oh how much has it you know revenue has it um, generated and how much invoices are there still to be paid so if you get a phone call say you're a service company again and this company wants you to come and fix the fire alarm but you'll say well you still owe us 15,000 from last year's work pay some of that off and we'll send somebody around you're going to be able to see in one place all that information contacts is the people within the companies so the individuals the individual emails and phone numbers and interactions you're going to be able to see the emails you're going to be able to see deals that are in the pipeline opportunities if you've used Zoho previously um, it's now called deals activities is um, it's a, you know if you had an activity it's new task new event or logging a call all the all the things that you need to do for this person you're going to see your close activities you're going to see what they've purchased any issues quotes you've sent out sales orders all your emails all the invoices uh, newsletter campaigns sorry the campaigns is where they where they were brought on board from you can connect to their to their social media accounts to go deeper so basically contacts being the people within the businesses that you work with not necessarily that they're customers because some of them might have been um, places you've sent quotes out that they haven't accepted so they're not customers but they are people you've been interacting with deals is your pipeline of jobs that are in the pipeline on in various status obviously you're trying to get to a closed one status there's this kanban setting that trello made really popular that you can drag and drop your deals around and you know, you don't have to jump into something now. You can say, oh, yeah, Chamel James Laverne, whatever that is, I've uh, I've sent him a quote. You can just drag it around and that'll alter at the top. It should do how much your um, is in your each stage. Yeah, it did then. You'll see it text straight away, but it took a while. So that's with deals. You're going to spend a lot of time in your deals. You're going to track information on deals. You're going to have activity on deals. You're going to be able to track phone calls to that deal um, and create more deals off one deal, isn't it? But it's all set out again, information, emails, contacts on that deal. So that's cool. Projects, um, managing certain projects within your company, whether you've got a deal signed off, then it becomes a project and then the project becomes an invoice or you've got a big project for a marketing plan. That that's a project or you've got a project that you maybe need to recruit somebody you probably maybe create a project to link to Zoro recruit and then the tab there's all sorts of other things activities is um, the things you've got going on open deals leads and contacts tracking calls making calls getting meetings reports obviously finding reports showing all those popular reports making your own reports lots you can do campaigns is tracking where your campaigns are so this is, could be something like a facebook ad a yellow pages a billboard 
um, some sort of marketing campaign that you're going to create and say this campaign, and then when you get a phone call who says, "Hey, I've just seen your advert. I'm sorry, I've just seen your billboard that you're offering a new security system or your new product. Um, can you can you give me a call?" You will tag that to that campaign. So then, if that person pays, ends up signing off on the deal, you can work out how much uh, has been tagged to that campaign. How, was that campaign worth it? We've paid a thousand pound for a billboard, um, and we've got seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars worth of work out of it. Pounds, dollars. You know what I mean? Pretty cool products. Uh, you know, a list of products that you sell, so you can tag. Uh, where are my uh, visits is is going to be sales iq linking out your visitors your customers to the visitors on the website uh products cases you can have you know if there's you know cases of feedback received from customers regarding issues of your products so if you've got set issues and you've got product issues you can create a case and keep a customer happy but you may also use zoho desk to crack track tickets as well I'll just go down these now quick because there's so many. Solutions is, I think it's, um, Solutions are resource that helps solve recurring. Yeah, so if you've got a, a problem that comes up a lot, then this is a place where you say, when that issue happens, this is the this is the solution for it. Uh, visits, cases, same sort of thing. Vendors is obviously people you buy stuff off. Price books are sets of prices that you might have for different customers. A certain customer might get 20% off everything and that's a set price book for them. Quotes are quotes, sales orders are purchases of signed off, purchase orders are things you're buying, invoices are after the sales order is people need to pay, documents are a place where you can save your documents, social, um, managing and monitoring social networks and forecast, creating your forecast, creating your targets and all that fun stuff. So there's lots and lots and that that is really just scratching the surface because when we introduce all the other apps, then there'll be all sorts of extra sections. But I don't want you to get overwhelmed. At this point, we're just welcoming you into Zoho CRM. We're going to go through each section one by one. We're going to smooth it out and then you know filter down into what you need to happen. So that was just an introduction. Stay tuned for next lesson. Cheers.